the network owl broadcasts uh, a multicast UDP uh, packet um, so by definition that's not broadcast you have to know the IP address to uh, receive that and I'll show you how that operates in the code walkthrough I'll do later it broadcasts uh, power, power consumption instantaneous power consumption uh, cumulative kilowatt hours uh, for the property since midnight last night uh, occasionally it sends um, current temperature at the vicinity and weather conditions and what I've done when it receives that uh, light drizzle text I've matched that to an icon from an SD card which is at the back of the display and uh, display that icon um, I then draw the data on a, on a graph which is dual axis graph for kilowatt hours and instantaneous watts and the, in the graph you can see that it's auto scaled up to uh, 2000 watts the peak if that went to 4000 that would go to 4000 and and also scrolls to the right when it to the left sorry when it reach scrolls to the left when it reaches the right hand edge that peak will eventually scroll to the left hand edge and where it will auto scale down to about um, 800 watts and that spike has gone assuming no further power increases greater than um, 2000 or 800 in that example there are received um, and for, for good measure I used the time library just to put the time on the display when the last packet was received so over here is a packet count minimum and maximum power and that's it so that's taking an XML multicast UDP data packet from a network owl the network owl is receiving the uh, power consumption from an owl energy monitor and um, you can see that's the sort of quiescent power consumption of the property of about 260 watts it drops down to about 170 at night and um, so there's no time base per se it's the reception of a packet is received and when it reaches the end there you can small, just see a small gap eventually when enough packets are received it will start the process of scrolling the screen the graph to the left